Today what we got is, obviously it's the second day of the Big Bass Bash, and they put a little twist on it. All we can use is Berkeley baits in some form or another. Anglers battled challenging weather conditions in a finicky bite out on Kentucky Lake to bring in plenty of quality fish on day one of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. However, on day two, conditions are more stable and armed with a boat full of only Berkeley products, these anglers are looking to take top Big Bass honors on the final day. We're just on a little black trick, Berkeley worm. Throwing the 5.5 square bill by Berkeley. You're gonna go ahead and start leading this session. What'd you catch it on? Uh, Busby and I, on a, as a trailer at uh, Berkeley Pit Boss. All right, Pit Boss on it, a 389, new leader, folks. Going through and flipping a Berkeley chigger crawl into a boat dock. Actually, I'm gonna go with the Pit Boss. Yeah, it's a drive. Come off in the net. What'd you catch it on? Uh, Berkeley General. What bait did you catch it on? Shaky head with a Berkeley worm. Berkeley worm, okay. We were fishing just a random bank and I was throwing a Berkeley Jaywalker and it come up and ate it and I set the hook and we got it in the hook. What's it say? 479. 479, yeah! Stay tuned as we bring you day two coverage from Kentucky Lake and the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley. Give it a boat, son! Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Stewie! New Big Bass of the Tournament! There's your chances right there, folks! Welcome into Day 2 coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. The final day of tournament competition will throw a new wrinkle into the event. Anglers are only allowed to throw Berkeley products. Gone to Bass Pro and bought quite a few Berkeley things for this tournament, so I'm, you know, I'm going to be throwing a big chopo out there and hoping for a big one to bite it. Uh, day two is just Berkeley baits, so we've had to stock up on our Berkeley supply, and we just got handed out some pretty good-looking creature hogs from the new Max scent line. At the registration dinner prior to the tournament beginning, Berkeley provided a great selection of baits from which anglers could take products to use during the event. With the announcement of the specific bait rule being made earlier in the year, anglers have been gearing up for this day for some time now. Whether they've thrown Berkeley baits for a while or are new to the product, everyone is excited to see how they'll produce on day two. Now, fortunately for me, I've thrown a lot of Berkeley baits, um, so it's not a, I think it's an advantage for me. I've got a lot of confidence in throwing them, and I think, I think it should be all right. Well, coming up here, I haven't really thrown a lot of Berkeley baits in the past, so it kind of dragged my bank account getting ready to come up here. <laughs> and that was okay with me, because I kind of like the product, and I'm looking forward to, to trying out a few different baits like I've got to in practice. Leading up to day one, the main presentation being discussed amongst these anglers was topwater. Many of them wound up finding success with topwaters, whether it be a plopper or a walking style bait. Berkeley has an extensive line of hard baits, especially topwaters, and these anglers have quickly keyed in on which ones they want to throw. We're going to just switch to our Berkeley topwater. Um, I've got a hijacker I bought that I'm really excited to use. And I'm going to be looking for the Chapo to be a big player. A key bait in the morning for our topwater, we're going to use a Berkeley. Cane walker. I'm going to throw the cane walker a bunch. That cane walker, I mean, it's a good bait. It's a good pencil popper type bait. So that's that and the, just the top water pretty much. That's all I'm going to throw. We go out onto Kentucky Lake now where the conditions are setting up right for a strong topwater bite. Joe Bardill from Murray State University won day one session one with this fish that he caught on a plopper style bait. He's throwing the Berkeley Chapo now in hopes of duplicating that day one performance. Well, it's early, so, and mainly with the water temp being this warm yet, uh, that first hour's been critical for getting a bigger bite. Um, we found bait all around this flat and these fish are pushing them up on top of the flat to feed. And, uh, so we're out here throwing the chopo and the cane walker and trying to get a big one to show herself. Continuing the theme early on this morning, topwater is the main bait of choice for other anglers that also won a session on day one. Berkeley chopo is definitely one of my favorites. It's the loudest plopping bait. 
on the market. I'm sitting in about six foot right now and there's like a little little ledge about, I don't, know, I don't know, 15, 20 yards that way where it rolls up to about two or three. And I'm just throwing a top water out there to see if I can bring it over top of that ledge, see if there's any bass pushing, pushing some bait up against that ledge and see if I can't call one up to the top and eat my popper. It's time now for our first break in the action. We go to the day two session one weigh in and find out if the top water bite can produce a game changer of a fish. Stay tuned for more. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. Oh, I got it. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Okay, here we are, day two, session one for the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash. Presented by Berkeley here on Kentucky Lake, going out of Paris Landing State Park. Y'all right, put that fish in there, bag and all. Right now, you are gonna be in the lead for this first session, it's sponsored by Abu Garcia. It's gonna weigh 276, 276. What'd you catch that fish on? Uh, Berkeley uh, Power Bait Worm, uh, Water Oil Color. There you go. Session one presented by Abu Garcia is getting off to a hot start as numerous fish cross the scales. As was the case with each weigh-in period on day one, it looks like it's going to take a four pound class fish to claim the session. This is going to take over the lead right now. A 420, 420. Yep, new leader. Take that fish out and hold it up for Kevin. Yep, less than a minute. If you're coming up to weigh in, less than a minute. No other fish are weighed in during this session, and Bennett Cutter from Bryan College takes top honors with a largemouth weighing 4.20 pounds. Cody Gregory from Bethel University weighs in the only other fish to best the four pound mark, taking second with 4.09 pounds. Each angler finishing in the top 10 earns an Abu Garcia Revo Reel, as well as a variety of other prizes. It was a big surprise. I um, wasn't really expecting it do well today. We uh, Yesterday in the tournament we didn't fish anything, we didn't practice, we were just kind of practicing all day. So having a, having a good fish early was a surprise and I was fortunate to make it back in time. I was running up to the tanks and I didn't think a 420 would win it, but I ended up winning. We go back out to Kentucky Lake now to check in on several of Bennett's teammates from Bryan College. They're in the 5.5 square bill by Berkeley. Freshman Rob Lindsay has opted to throw a Berkeley crankbait this morning. Lindsay won day one session three and is the current overall leader with a bass weighing 4.85 pounds. Both he and two other teammates are working the area where they landed the day one leading bass. We pulled up on this tree yesterday about 12 o'clock. We hadn't had a single bite all day. We pulled up on this one lay down right here. We tripled up the first, first bites all day. Yep. Is they were all they were all shorts, but then I made a cast over there, about 15 yards off the bank. I hooked that 485. That might keep. That's keeping. Yeah, skinny, but. I'm on that 1.5, or the 
Yeah, we, we came running back to this bank where we had caught him yesterday. We didn't have, we had but one bite this morning, or three or four bites on it this morning. Came back hoping for the best and caught one small keeper. Let's head back to the way in sight at Paris Landing State Park now to see what day two, session two, presented by Solar Bat Sunglasses has to offer. 229, 229, a 225 right now. You are in second place for the hour. Good job. The session's off to a slow start as anyone has yet to bring in a fish weighing over the three pound mark. But next up is Hunter Snyder from Adrian College and he's looking to shake things up a little bit. 485, can you do it? I'm about to find out. All right. Maybe it'll be one of those exactas and we'll get you a whole lot more stuff. All right, take your big bear paws off of there. Let's see what it'll do. Needs to be 485 or better. 516, new leader, good job. And with that Kentucky Lake Giant weighing in over five pounds, Hunter jumps to the top of the session standings and takes the overall lead for the event. I sat in that fish and I was like, oh boys, this isn't a carp, this is a big one. And Blake's like, oh my gosh, it's a big one. It comes to the back of the boat and jumped like six foot in the air. And then uh, Blake went and jabbed for it and it jumped back and it dug under the boat and we were all freaking out, thought it was gonna break off. And we finally got it in the net. And when it got in the boat, we all looked at each other and we were like, we just won the tournament. We did what we came here to do. And I, I just started tearing up and they all teared up and we screamed and it, it was just, I'll never forget it today I die, man. Hunter Snyder from Adrian College wins session two by more than a half pound with 5.16 pounds. Tristan McCormick and fellow teammate Dakota Pierce finish second and third respectively. And Rob Lindsay from Bryan College rounds out the top 10, weighing in the nearly two pound fish he caught earlier in the session. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At the pinnacle of super high output, four-stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game-changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four-strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock-solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US. We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Berkeley. Catch more fish. And by Henry County, Tennessee. A world by the water. How about a 283? How about a 223? You are in fifth place right now. That one was a 239. You're in second place for this session right now sponsored by the Bass Pro Shop and Abu Garcia. Welcome back out to Paris Landing State Park on the shores of Kentucky Lake where day two session three presented by Bass Pro Shops and Abu Garcia is currently underway. A bass weighing 2.83 pounds is leading and one angler in particular has her sights set on besting that mark. Next to weigh in from Blue Mountain College we have Taylor Owens. Taylor come on up here. I want you to look at something for me, Taylor, on this screen. What's that number right there in blue? 284. All right, do you know what 284 means? That's the weight I have to beat. The weight you have to beat. Do you think you can beat it? I think so. What's it say? 479. 479, <laughs> yeah! And with that fish, Taylor Owens from Blue Mountain College claims the session three lead by more than two pounds. Let's hear from her and fellow teammate Ty Cox on how it all went down. We were fishing just a random bank and I was throwing a Berkeley Jaywalker and it come up and ate it and I set the hook and we got it in the boat. She was back there <laughs> and so I fished this lake, you know, for a long time. I've got all these good spots that we ain't caught nothing on all week. So I was like, this point looks good. So we go to some random point I've never fished in my life. She throws that Jaywalker out there and she was messing with something on the back deck. In a minute, I hear something and I'm like, hey, 
The fish has got your spoon. And it's a big one. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of luck, especially in an event where anglers are looking for just one right bite. As we've seen over the past day and a half out on Kentucky Lake, anglers have had difficulty establishing a pattern and finding consistent bites. However, one team that has seemed to figure out at least a little bit of something is the Bethel pairing of Tristan McCormick and Dakota Pierce. They've placed a total of three times this week, two of those coming during session two today. With time winding down here in session three, strategy is weighing heavy on their minds as they hope to sneak one in before the clock strikes 1 p.m. There's four sessions, so like if you catch, you know, if you catch a two, two and a half, like if we caught it right, as soon as we blast it off, we definitely want to go weigh it in first period because it's always taken like both days there's been a low one in the first session, so you could usually get paid. But like, I don't know, you gotta like time you're like, we're just gonna sit on this spot till this session's over just in case we catch one, because there ain't no sense us running ten minutes up the lake to another, you know, to another spot and pull up and catch one and then that's it, you know, we can only weigh in the last session. You kind of got to think about it, what your, what your moves are. Right. Is it about? I don't know. How close is it? Right here. Yeah, it's a giant. <laughs> Come off in the net. <laughs> Dude, I thought I said that's fishing line. It went whoop. The live well's on? No. Uh, the last, the last weigh-in, or the last weigh-in just started. So we're just gonna hold them. Dude, that was a magnet pile. I was in that pile for like 30 seconds. Fishing on huh? What time is it? 50. Oh, it's 49. I think we'll make it. You wanna try? I mean, if you don't, then you just wasted your trip. 10 minutes. Think we can make it back in 10 minutes? You have to be in the weighing line by three, though. You wanna try it or what? I mean, it's up to you, but where that fish in is gonna be for the last session. I just hope we can make it back. We're gonna try to go weigh him in before the last session starts. What do we got? Four minutes till the weigh-in session's over, so I don't know. I think I should just grab them and run up the... Hey, you gotta have water. I'll get water, I'll dump water in them. I don't know, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. I think that's your best option, though. Yeah, I, I agree. If you're wanting to weigh in during this session, you have less than two minutes. And right now, Rob Lindsay has got 10th place with a 254. 254, we got another one coming. Okay, if you're at the dock, anglers, and you'll have one minute when I mark it. Were you running up through there? All right, we got another Bethel team coming in here. Let's get this in. All right, Tristan. How many times you weighed in in this tournament? Two times. All right, let's see what this will do. 344, 344. That's got you in sixth place for this session. Well, we made it. Had one minute left. I think we ended up fifth or sixth, something like that. So, we'll go back out and see if we get one more. It helps, you know, because if I would have been late, 
I basically would have been done for a day because I can only weigh in, you know, one fish an hour. So, just glad I made it. Appreciate it, bro. Sneaking in right at the end of the period, Tristan McCormick from Bethel University claims sixth place with 3.44 pounds. Taylor Owens from Blue Mountain College holds on for the session win with 4.79 pounds. So far today, this is the most competitive session with a 2.81 pound fish taking 10. Coming up after the break, we enter the fourth and final weigh-in session of the day. There's still plenty of time for someone to catch the winning fish. Stay tuned to see how things play out over the last two hours of competition. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. 10 Forage inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast, go shallow, go efficient. Eagle Claw Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. And by Gill, dress like a pro. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. We go now to the day two session four weigh-in, where anglers are bringing some nice fish to the scales. 406, 367. How about a new leader for this session of 477? Great job. Thomas Milraney from Bethel University wins the fourth and final session of the day with 4.77 pounds. The young freshman angler beats out a fellow teammate to take the hour. Though he struggled to get bites throughout the event, Thomas credits this session four big bass to someone very important in his life. Honestly, from fishing with my dad so long, I watch him, he'll fish all day, and you know, finally pulling nice one out, so I just kept thinking what my dad would do, and he would have kept on fishing, so I just followed his example. And with the final session complete, here's a look at the overall top 10 for the 2019 Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bass, presented by Berkeley. Hunter Snyder from Adrian College finishes in first place with 5.16 pounds. Completing the event in second place is Bryan College freshman Rob Lindsay with 4.85 pounds. And Lindsay's fellow Bryan College teammate Mason Cizek winds up in third. This is what I've been dreaming of since I was 12 years old, you know, since I first casted a bait casters, being up on a big stage and being able to win a tournament or win something big. And I was just able to prove it to myself and my family and everybody that told me I couldn't do it. I'm here now and I'm living proof. Just one bite, man, and I'm here. That big bass by Snyder nets his team 1,000 points towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. With another angler placing near the top of the standings, Adrian College earns over 1,800 points this week to maintain their first place ranking. Defending School of the Year champions McKendry University are in second, and Murray State sits there in third. That concludes the first ACA event of the season. We'd like to send a huge thank you to Henry County in Paris, Tennessee for their warm hospitality this week. Thanks for watching our coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. We'll see you next time. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting 
so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down don't know their names yet, but you will. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of baits. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Midwestern anglers have been keeping a secret from the rest of the country for over a decade. People have caught on, and we can't keep it a secret any longer. They've been using Stupid Tubes by Secret Lures. Stupid Tubes brought a lot of money into my pocket, opened my eyes, and allowed me to compete all over the country. And now, to give back to our customers and give anglers a leg up on the competition, we're rolling out our classic Stupid Tube Kit. This kit includes three of our most popular colors of Stupid Tubes, along with jig heads in our two most popular sizes, rigging instructions, and a bonus decal. I made the Indiana Bass Nation State team two years in a row off of the Stupid Tube. Whether you're competing in tournaments or just enjoying a relaxing weekend on the water, this kit is all you need to guarantee putting lots of fish in your boat. My confidence in the Stupid Tube comes from the sheer number of bites that you get with it. Get in on the secret to success and order your classic stupid tube kit today at secretlures.com. Probably one of the number one questions I get, you know, what line do I use? That's a big debate. For every tour out there, everybody's debating which line. I choose the simple side. My choice of line is Sunline. And my favorite lines to use is Sunline. How all can you use it? Anywhere you want to. Anywhere there's water and bass, it's good. Walleye, catfish, trout. Speckled trout, sharks. There we go. Uh, I don't say this unless I think it's true, but honestly, it's the best in the market. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive, yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. Approximately 30,000 cases of Lyme disease happen each year in the United States. The main culprit, ticks. Stop and kill ticks in the outdoors with Sawyer's permethrin insect repellents. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. <laughs> 